Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonicle review, and this one's on uh, two of the Rock Cheese, uh, Two Rock and Volrock from 2003, of course. So starting out with the Two Rock. So from first glance, and of course, how this time the Rock Cheese sets were kind of revolutionary for how they were. Obviously, a bit more complexity, but also first sets with movable knees, of course, which I'll go over soon. And of course, it was quite tall that they were, of course. So now, as for the feet, which are quite large and also were all in different colors specific to each of them. Although the only time we ever got to see these feet uh, reused in any other sets was until 2007 with the Baraki and Toamari, since at that time is when they started to be different builds instead of all clone sets, of course. So I see these feet here, which are kind of nicely done, like a couple pistons on the sides and this center bit, of course. And as for the legs, so which, since they which were the first to use these kind of like limb pieces, which were used on a lot of sets afterwards, but they've all, all been in gray for just for the rock sheets. But however, but of course, on, in most sets, they were just recolored in different colors, of course. And as for the upper leg parts, which we also saw with the uh, kick, uh, totally kind of kick and Nalo set the following year, and also Makuta, also in this year, of course, in this year, of course, where it's like four pieces all together, but, and of course, until they decided to make them in a whole separate, in, in a whole sold, whole single piece with the Toa Metru the following year, of course. And then further upwards, we do have this mini uh, body kind of piece in them, which we also saw with the Vaki the following year, of course. And also had this large bit that does hold the arms in them, and this part you can turn back and forth and it makes the arms swish back and forth, like the Kolimatorin and Rakshi, or I mean Vaki as well. And then the arms of which, which are pretty much just Toamata arms. But in gray, dark gray, of course. And also as for the staffs, which all Rakshis tend to have. And the staff tips, of which are all uniquely shaped. Like for two rock here, they're in and representing flame bits, of which, but also a few years later in 2005 with the Rahaga, they which still used these as the top parts of their staffs, of course. And the interesting thing with each rock she sets is in some of the mini videos, they which appear to have the staff bits just as it, just as separate blades as it, but also in a couple of videos which place their feet together like that and fly off with it. Also in the Mask of Light movie, but not sure what that was about, but it was quite neat seeing that. So, anyways, as for this top section here, which is like a large back part, and also each rock view, which does have a uniquely shaped spine or protruding blade spine part to it and as for the headpiece which comprises mostly a hand piece that is in trans orange and headpiece which has a couple of bits to it and whereas the only times that they were ever reused were in the uh, Rahaga and Hydrukas and but then there was also the a uh, stars set of Rakshi that had these two linked together and soft rubbery for that. But however, with this switch, you can open right upwards, and then there's a Krona or Krata that there is. And like Krona's, 
they which were a collectible kind of thing to it, like different faces on each of them and all. And they did have separate packs for that, of course. And that's about it for to rock here. And now on to Vorak here, which as you can see, like most of the other gears, same build as that, but different color scheme of mostly black instead of red or whatever. And of course, in this case, which is different staff tips and different uh, back protrusions. Like for Vorak's here, are mostly these like uh, cloths kind of bits, but Mostly for like chopping through rock or whatever, since it's the earth one. And also has the spine part, which kind of represents like buzz saws, you know, with well, how, of how it's like that, you know. Although kind of reminiscent of Onuanuva's uh, saw blades. That's about it there. So now on to the final verdict. So now overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for how they work. Like first time getting closable knees and also so a few a lot of new pieces. Well, for the time, but also ones that often that got often reused with other sets over the years. But yeah, and of course. For these being the fire one and uh, earth one, of course, have different staff tips and different back blades, of course. And of course, all the Roxy's had that as well, but yeah. And also for the uh, 7 to $8 that they were back then, well, still quite good for how it is. And of course, whereas for Volrock and Having the orange eye, eyes against the black, which kind of workable with Halloween stuff. You know, with orange and black, of course, but there's a, but that's just me, but yeah. And also, uh, oh, what else is there? Uh, not much, but yeah. And of course, all those. And of course, kind of still kind of thoughtful how they were like with functions like the gear functions and of course the poseable knees, so which carry on to all other sets as well. Uh, but yeah, and of course, still quite neat for that. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to get these sets. I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.